Hi, I'm David. And I'm Rachel. And welcome to LeisureBit. On our second day at the Yorkshire Motorhome and Campervan Show 2024, we're staying at Harrogate Caravan Park. We begin the day with breakfast at Fodder and find a lovely Easter display. We then head to the show and take a look around the Consort Oslo and Nova and a second-hand Vantage Neo and also an Auto Sleepers Kingham. We take another look at the M Star and Rachel gives her views on that. She also has a look around a Euromobile for something a little bit different. Whilst outside at the show, Rachel finds a concept she absolutely loves. Rachel comes up with a plan to help us move forward with our quest for the ultimate camper van. Chat to some of you really awesome people. To finish the weekend off, we have a lovely evening with friends in the Traveller's Rest. Leisure bit is the way to go with David, Rachel and Roxy. Let's hit the road and explore. As we've been to the shore, we're heading down towards the caravan park. You would normally make a right-hand turn here, but we've turned left. The cameras on the barrier automatically recognise your registration number from when you booked in and open the barrier. You then stop at the line at reception check in they'll give you your pitch number and also information on the site and some useful tips for the area and then you make your way to your pitch today it's saturday and we're coming to you from harrogate caravan park what's really good about this site is actually all the profit goes to the agricultural society so that's brilliant so on a pitch just down from where we were when we were here last time we're just going to pop to get some breakfast something says forgetting to bring the air fryer because we brought all the gear it's actually working out not as bad as we expected uh, <laughs> it's a lot more expensive we're just making our way over to fodder uh, which is a farm shop but also has a cafe and a takeaway and it's really good you can get to it from the side through this little secret door at the side simple as that straight through and we're here the little takeaway to the side is called a fodder on the hoof i'd love to see the size of the eggs that this chicken lays they must be huge so they've got an easter themed wicker display here at fodder look there's big chicken there's a rabbit carrot how good is this they really clever the shop's open 9 to 5, Monday to Sunday, and the cafe's open at 9 till 4.30, Monday to Sunday, with last orders at 4.15. If you've arrived by cycle, there's a place here to store your cycle while you have a look round or pop in the cafe. Why the long face? Nice like this. Empty hands, empty hands. 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 I always think the viaduct you can see just the other side of the car park there is really impressive. So the train passing over it a few minutes ago. Queue up the bank. It took us just over 10 minutes to walk from Harrogate Caravan Park. It's a really impressive showground here. We're nearly up at the hall now. There's a gate when we get here where we need to check in and show our tickets. The tickets again for today, same as for Friday, were £7 each if bought online, £10 if you buy today. We're here and we're in and ready to go to day two of the Yorkshire Motorhome and Campervan Show in Harrogate. Let's take a look at our first campervan of the day. This is the Oslo and it runs between 75 and 85,000 depending on the type of base vehicle you get. 6.36 metre version. This one's on the Peugeot cab. Got a fridge. the washroom mm. with a bench toilet u-shaped lounge in the rear does seem to have a fair bit of room in here little headrests which are quite handy I'll come and have a look with you quite nice the little pocket little shelf under the tv got the 
lockers here nice hinges on them quite square and there's a shelf along here the USB and light switches there of the light switch yeah heating controls up here your solar control and in front it's also an over cab shelf space got your cooker your storage as ever you always find me in the bathroom um, it's actually bigger than I thought from the outside it's got some little useful hooks there it has still got a shower curtain but it's only across the door roof light nice round mirror it's got the drop down sink she said Ooh. gosh that's a huge sink it's really really big and the built-in toilet with the shower head um it feels bigger than ours it still feels a little bit not quite big enough i've just noticed actually there is a shelf here sorry a cupboard here with shelves with lips to keep your lotions and potions in yeah quite a nice fan not a bad bathroom <laughs> That's consort. As well as looking in the larger van, we wanted to look in one of the smaller ones. If I look in the Nova now, it's a very similar layout, except for this one's on the Fiat cab. It's quite an impressive size screen, that one, isn't it? The uh, air conditioning controls, that looks quite a bit updated. It's nice to see. And then got the rear lounge here obviously significantly smaller than the 6.36 meters wouldn't be a bad size for two people though unfortunately you've got to sleep across the van so for me that rules it out we spotted this one which looked very similar to the consorts. This is the Avantage Neo. I do actually quite like the cream gloss cupboards. Oh, it's another U-shaped lounge. Oh, now I like that storage cupboard there. That's really, really useful. You can fit loads of stuff in there, like tins, etc. Oh, leather seating. I'd love leather seating. That would be really, really good with Roxy. And then if she's been on one of her little swimming sessions, at least you could just wipe it down. I do quite like the cream and lots of little pockets around. Hmm. Not bad, but it's a 2018 model, so probably not for us. Look at that control for the seats as well. This is on a Comfortmatic gearbox, very very similar to the console, similar style except for cupboards are a bit more rounded off, but very very similar look. Very similar indeed. It's got these pockets and things there. We take a look at the first auto sleeper. It's the Kingham from auto sleeper. Got the bed, loo to the side. I do like the finish on these. Nice curved lockers. Peugeot cab. We'll have a quick look at the Auto Sleeper Warwick Duo. It's a Warwick Duo. Interestingly, it has the washroom at the end, wardrobe over the seat. Some very well finished vans like the quality of auto sleepers. We've looked at this one a few times now, the M-Star. Still feel very drawn to the M-Star. You can have a look in the washroom, there's that lovely Mercedes cab. Look in the, you've got your separate shower and toilet, microwave in your fridge, 
that swelled together that lovely leather in the back and let Rachel have a look in this one so this is always a concern David's asked me to come and have a look at this one so my first observation I'm gonna say is actually the cab area look quite dark because it hasn't got the roof light above it and the driver's seat doesn't turn round doesn't swivel round and I know David does like that no I can't see a light so it's got a separate shower room and the toilet moving on from there is the fridge the microwave the kitchen area on the right hand side that is quite a pinch point coming through Nice leather upholstery though. Well, I can see why David would like that. It's got a nice control panel. A handy sockets and things under the seat. When David asks you to come and have a look at a van, it's always a bit of a concern because it means there's something of interest. I think with this one, it's probably because it's a Mercedes and I know that he does like Mercedes. I think, I think my overall views are, I think it's a no for David because the driver's seat doesn't swivel around and it feels awfully dark. The, I thought I would quite like grey leather, but actually I don't. It's too dark. I don't know how much this van is. I have a feeling it's not cheap. There isn't a price on it. I've got the undersun gas. Toilet empty in point, electric input, water, and there's your outlet. Nice pockets on the top as well. I'm just going to look into this 100% electric camper van. It's recently come back from a tour of Iceland and I just wanted to have a look in. These seats fold down into beds. Storage there. Fridge little table, microwave, porta potty, little aircon or heater, cooker, it's 100% electric and this seat folds down to a bed, it's obviously got the big pop top. This one here is the X demo, so it did the Iceland tour and it'll be released from June 2024 20, at £62,250. That's really, really good. And it's a cracking little van. wonder how many more camper vans are going to go 100% electric. So here's it looking from the back in over. Loads of little cupboards. This must be a bed that folds down. So it travelled 3,700 miles from the UK to Iceland and around. Do you know what? If I was by myself and single, I think something like that would be amazing to pop about him. I mean, look at it on these images. I like this. I'm going to take a look into this Euromobile is a demonstrator model at 102,995. Why am I looking in this model? Because it's something different. Because I've looked at camper vans for the past two days and I haven't seen anything different. So if I haven't seen anything different, why not come and look at something different to see if that's what I like. So here's the cab area. It's Fiat, automatic. It's got the nice sunroof up above the cab area which makes it feel really big and roomy. Nice seats. It's got a nice little dinette area here with a folding out table. I do like this kitchen, it actually feels quite big and quite, well not big, big's the wrong word, but it does feel as though these drawers are quite huge and they are, they go miles back. Nice control panel, oven, fridge. Let's look at the bedroom. Oh, now I do like this bed look because it folds down. You've got little seats to go up to the top. 
We've got a separate shower. Ooh, a little bit of floral print there on the wall. It's unusual, can't do a bit of a leaf print. And a nice big toilet area. It actually feels really, really big. And I like the sink in the corner. It's got soap dispensers. That feels nice. Right, I'm going to see. Oh, there's a bed that drops down as well from the top. See, I do like the space that you get in this. I really do like it. It feels cosy. It feels as though it's got everything in that we would want and we would need. It's just the size. I think if we were full timing or if we're retired and we're going along for longer breaks, then this is definitely something that we would look at. Is it the next one for us? I don't know. I was saying yesterday to see some subscribers that we met that I think what we need to do now is because my head's a bit scrabbled with what I've seen, what I haven't seen. I think we need to sit down and write a list, a wish list of what we want, certainly what we don't want, and things that are negotiable and things that aren't negotiable. Um, just to get my head back in the right space. I think I need to probably write a list of all the manufacturers, tick off those that we've seen, tick off those that we've discounted. We are actually going to go and see um, some really good friends in a couple of weeks' time who do camper conversions, and we're going to go and look at what they do to see if that's a route that we could go down. People have suggested a lot of different bands and we've been to see some of them. Some of them aren't here at the show. We've been to, I've scoured and had a look for them and I can't see them. So, yeah, I think we need to get back to the drawing board. We need to write the non-negotiables, what we really want, etc. And then maybe regroup again. Yeah, that's what I think. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I could see myself in one of these. That's what we did. Oh, yeah. Tell me about these little log burners. I'll turn this off. For those of you earlier who heard that I said that I actually would quite like an awning this year. I've seen the thing that I want. I really, really want it. In fact, I don't just want it. I want it, want it, love it, want it, want it, want it. So there's this little van, which is called Betty, and it's got this awning. It's not an awning. This is like of epic proportions. It's a glamping pod. It's not made out of canvas, so it's made out of modern materials. So it is windproof, snow proof. I've got pictures of them using it in the snow. When you buy this, you get brown sheet, mat, a little stove, which takes little dinky logs in it so it keeps you warm. All of the sides come up so that you get air at the bottom. And this whole setup, so this whole thing here, including the log burner, the matting, the tent, and the mat on the outside. It's only £1,700. I actually think that's a really good price. I just love it. Look. We wandered over to the Traveller's Rest on Saturday evening for a meal and shared it with Trev and Debs and Tyler from Tyler's Travels and Bob and Aileen McKay from McKay Pet Supplies. Fantastic evening. So that's us for the 2024 Yorkshire Motorhome and Camper Van Show in Harrogate. And we'll look forward to coming back next year. But for now, I'm all showed out. It's been fantastic meeting so many lovely people as well. Thank you to everyone who stopped and chatted. We really appreciate it. It's brilliant, isn't it, when you can meet people? It absolutely is. And it's part of the reason we do this. We really enjoy it, so thank you very much. And thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it and found it useful. And we'll catch you for the next bit. Bye. Bye.